Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Beast Mysteries. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a very terrifying Bigfoot encounter that happened here in Alberta, near a place called Sundry. Now this happened back in 2004. We actually have the report up on our Alberta Sasquatch website. If you go to sasquatchalberta.com, you can find it on there. Now this Sasquatch report is very intense. There is a family and they are suddenly like harassed by multiple Bigfoot creatures. They're out gathering deadfall and all of a sudden all hell breaks loose and they're having stuff thrown at them and they can hear these things all around them. And they start vocalizing and, and it's just a very intense, terrifying encounter that would make you want to get out of there without even packing your stuff up. You know, you just jump in your vehicle and take off, you know, and, and never return. I'm going to go through this report with you guys. I'll just read it, and it's going to be in the words of the person who submitted the report, and you guys will get a good idea of what happened. And uh, I, let me tell you, man, this one is crazy. There was still some snow in the bush. We were picking up dried tamarack and spruce deadfall to take home for making beanpole teepees in our garden. We had our three kids with us, aged around three, six, and eight at the time. My wife and I were dragging the deadfall out of the bush and figuring out which ones we could work with. After what seemed like about a couple of hours, we had a stack of about 25 poles and were eating lunch with the kids when things went absolutely crazy. At first we got screamed at. Then stuff comes flying out of the bushes at us like rocks, tree limbs, and sod hunks. Sounded like things breaking in the bush and whacking sounds. It was nuts. None of it hit any of us. We'd been in that area many times prior in the years and never had anything like this occur. Our eight-year-old jumped into the truck and locked all the doors, with the other four of us doing laps around the vehicle. I grabbed our three-year-old and got her into the back seat through the window. I'm trying to figure out who's screwing with us. It's funny now, not so much back then. Now this is weird. First, whoever or whatever was crawling on all fours over all the down timber and old logs staring right at me as it moved back and forth. From what I could make out, another one or two were behind it, also on all fours crawling around behind the other one. These creatures were about 15 to 20 feet inside the tree line. About 30 to 40 feet further into the timber was another two or couple persons silhouettes we could make out. They were moving through the trees making crazy animal sounds. This went on for what seemed a good couple minutes. All of the kids began freaking out and crying inside the vehicle. My wife was standing with me when we were watching this go on, and they started telling me, let's get out of here, and I'm trying to get a grip on the creatures I'm looking at through the trees. I don't think I was freaked out by what was happening. I just could not process what I was looking at. I still recall thinking, why would some people try and scare the crap out of us out here? So there you have it, another very interesting, terrifying report. This one with multiple creatures, and the weird thing about these ones is that they are crawling on all fours, they're not walking bipedally. Now, we can rule out bears. If this is a true report, we can rule out bears, because bears don't pick up rocks or sticks and throw them at people. Um, I mean, everything about this sounds like a, an intimidation tactic or you know some sort of territorial display they don't want these people there this is out down an old lease road and they're parked in the ditch and you know there's a tree line and these creatures are kind of just hiding like 20 feet or so and maybe a little bit deeper into the tree line so they can't fully be seen but from what this guy could make out he could see multiple creatures crawling around on all fours and he could see silhouettes and you know this sundry area seems to be a great location for Bigfoot encounters. There's a lot of reports that comes out of that area, like west of Calgary. And I remember years ago, someone I knew was out camping near sundry. And they came across a really strange area that was just like an animal graveyard. An area out in the bush covered in moss. Like the ground was all moss and on top of the moss there was just endless amounts of animal bones scattered all over the place so i wonder you know if that has anything to do with sasquatch creatures out there i mean it's totally possible um 
but, but I mean, this is terrifying. I mean, it's similar to yesterday's story in that it's, you know, a person with kids. In this case, it's a man, his wife, and three kids. And, you know, these creatures did not want them there. <laughs> and, you know, it's not funny, I guess, but like the one kid jumps in the car and locks the doors, <laughs> locking the parents out, and they're trying to frantically find a way into the vehicle to get out of there but that's like total panic mode right you make bad decisions a lot of the time when you're in an intense situation like that and you know especially when you're a little kid this is one of the more intense stories we have on our website and definitely one of my favorites i really like these scary bigfoot encounters these ones where you know there's definitely a sense of imminent danger and um, who knows what would have happened if these people stuck around you know, um, this would have been something that would have been amazing to get on video if any of them had a camera or if they even had thought to record it. It would be interesting to, you know, hear the sounds that these creatures were making and to see them actually throwing rocks and sticks and, you know, pieces of deadfall. But, you know, as per usual, we don't have any sort of photographic or video evidence to back up the story, just a very interesting anecdote. So, you know, we hear a lot nowadays of Bigfoot creatures being spotted crawling around on all fours, and I don't know what exactly the reason would be, you know? All I can speculate is that it's a way to minimize their silhouette and stay close to the ground so we have a harder time seeing them. Let me know what you guys think of this. I mean, do you guys have any other stories uh, that are like this, where these creatures are crawling around like that and when they're acting like super aggressive? Let me know down in the comments. If you want to support Mountain Beast Mysteries, you can do so using the GoFundMe link down in the description. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next time on Mountain Beast Mysteries.